None of it really matters. The money, the fame, the accolades. When I go, if that day ever comes, this might even be my last video, nobody cares. So in case if you guys were wondering, uh, no, I'm not actually married. But I wanted to talk to you guys like how I used to talk to a camera back in the day where before all of these things happened. So essentially during the 2020 pandemic is what happened was one, my dad was in the hospital for a little bit and that was scary for me. And then I ended up in the hospital. And I'm like, okay, can things get any worse? Set timer for 15 minutes. I end up getting my heart broken. Y'all already know how that went. And then a couple months later, I ended up getting fired in a really shitty way. And it was just a reaction after another reaction after another reaction. And I was like, then the world shut down. And it was just so many things happening at once. I was like, what is going on? I wasn't happy with my life and what was going on and how heartbroken I actually was. And right now there is no script. Everything is coming off of my dome. And I've been spending a lot of alone time trying to figure out what is it that I want in life and how can I achieve it? How can I achieve the most happiness that I want? And understanding how that is very different from success and understanding day-to-day -day mornings, pretty usual, wake up now and I make myself a coffee. And it's like I use the instant stuff because uh, I ain't paying five bucks, man. Understanding who is Peter? Who is broke the habit? Who is this? Who is watching now? I don't know who's watching. Is anyone watching anymore? And I've come to the realization is that none of it really matters. So in 2020, I was in the hospital in and out. I didn't try to play it up. I didn't try to tell anybody. I'm the type of person that it's like, I grew up really independent because I didn't have a lot of people to rely on. So I had to become self-sufficient. And when you're in the hospital, you have the, all the monitors on your heart and you hear the beep, beep, beep. You count the tiles on the ceilings and you're like, none of this really matters, man. And pretty much within those two years, a lot of things have happened to me where it's like a lot of good things, right? And it's not so much about like it's for others anymore and really looking and asking myself the questions that I needed to ask myself, like what makes me happy, right? And choosing your own happiness is one of the most, this was one of the most difficult things that I need to look at myself and really, really ask myself, what is it that I want? Maybe some food, if y'all hear that, that's my stomach, but. I'm gonna go to uh, my office right now and um, pick up some camera equipment, like I said, and then it's gonna be a lot of work afterwards. And meetings on meetings on meetings. But looking back at how different my life is now than it was two years ago, those were some really, you know, tough times that I needed to go through. And it's like, instead of being a victim and being like, I hate the world, you know, I, I freaking do sometimes, but it's more along the lines of really being like, everything is happening to me so I can return to how, who I needed to be. Within these past two years, a lot of my life was 
reactionary because there's so much things going on and I needed to really process that and like as bad as I was going through at that time I feel like it was like can things get worse so bad to the point where it's like if you've been through so much shit everything else in life kind of just seems like not that big of a deal and you're able to be much more calm and what I mean by that is it's like if you've been through so much your threshold for pain is a lot more because things that happen in your life give you a little bit of trauma and like oh that's it I've been through a lot worse and this is nothing compared to that first time so that's what I feel like I'm going through right now you know and it made me think about okay what is it that I really want to do and even if I failed what do I want to do anyways because me going through that two years what was the most painful things that has ever happened to me. I ain't trying to talk shade, but I was in a very toxic, abusive relationship where I was essentially left a shell of who I used to be. So that Peter that was in all the videos years and years ago, trying to crush it, trying to like make this YouTube dreams, he died. And I needed time to process who that was, who do I aspire to be now, and figure out what happened to that Peter. All lines of like growth, and it's like I needed for once in my life, and started being like reacting to everything. It's like I needed to be there for me because I'm so much of a caretaker where it's like. I think so much for other people and like that's how I was raised as a kid as an immigrant kid but now it's like I can take accountability of those and how I felt back then to be like I ain't gonna let that happen no more and I'm gonna start putting myself first you know I'm gonna start taking care of me and what that means for you might be different than what it means for me but for me it was like doing things that made me happy more even and I realized that when you do things for yourself, you don't owe an explanation to anybody. If the very fact that it makes you happy, point, period, blank, you ain't owe nobody a damn explanation for your own happiness, right? And I realized that. And I'm like, holy shit, a lot of when I started this YouTube thing, it was always to prove people wrong. But then I realized that proving people wrong is in a fact that you're still caring about what other people are saying, you know? And the more you kind of like learn how to not give a shit about people, the more in tune you are with yourself, the more life just gets really quiet because you're like, you're too busy focusing on your life. You're too busy focusing on the things that make you happy and like building or going whatever in the trajectory that you want to go. That is where you want to be in life. I have all the things I wanted, right? I have a car, even though it ain't a Beamer, Benz, or Bentley. You're like getting your own place, making money, right? And you realize that, yes, success, quote unquote, I, I'm considered successful and like doing what I want to do. But it's also something's missing in that, where it's like I need to find like my own happiness. And happiness isn't always like overlapping with success right those two things are very different and like also needing to be like man I've come such a long way and I'm so hard on myself because I'm comparing myself to people who are like in a whole different other world that I don't really know of like whether they have a million subscribers whatever and it's like I can't let that get to me because everyone's on their own journey and it's like I'm comparing my first chapter technically my 10th year chapter but you know you know you know what I'm trying to say pretty much rebuilding from scratch who I was and who I am again and understanding everything in my life where it's like I worked so hard right I worked so hard to get everything that I eventually wanted but 
the biggest caveat of that is because I just put my head down and worked through everything, I didn't really get time to process things like my own emotions. For X amount of hours, what I'm gonna do now is be cooking spaghetti, which is super easy and it's usually my go-to meal when it comes to living alone. So here is we have our pasta sauce right here, made from scratch, sort of, but not really. Boiling fettuccine, eh? And I got some uh, garlic bread. Then all that's left to do is the lovely plating. not feel so alone anymore in this world where it feels like, especially with the lockdown, especially with COVID, making me feel and becoming the person that I know that I can be. Forget the fame, forget the numbers, forget everything. It's like, what I live for now is that one, doesn't make me happy, and two, refer back to number one. And the minute that I focused on that, Things just got a lot more silent, which is why you'll see if things go accordingly that, you know, a big change is going to come and to finally be able to just rely on me and be able to create the space of where this originally was, which is a place for me to vent and be my most authentic self because I feel like no matter where I go in life, I've always put on this sort of subconscious mask because I was afraid to actually be Peter, to be Broke the Habit. And Broke the Habit was the character that I made so I can fully be myself. But a lot of tears, a lot of growing pains, but I hope that Not necessarily whether or not it'll all one day pay off because I can't control things. I've been going through so much damn therapy, man. Y'all don't even know. Well, well, you, you, you know now because I'm like, I'm like talking about it. But it's a lot of times where it's like things aren't always, you know, up and down or things aren't always happy. There are times where it gets dark, man. Like I'm talking about dark and because of social media, you don't necessarily see that on, you know, your Instagram, your TikTok. It's always happy. Look at me, man. I'm here in my whatever. I'm chilling here on a yacht, on a plane, watching me and all my hot friends. But do you ever see someone just down and out trying to figure out, is there any help? Can I get help? And times where you're just out and you're just cry because you don't know what to do. But hold on, you would not. I, what kind of psychopath records himself when they're crying? Like who the hell would do that? It's like I had to face a reality. I had to face what I needed to face. And I'm still on this journey. I still do not have it all figured out. But I felt like when I, before I even started this channel, before I even got into videos to where I am now, I am on the trajectory of where I think I should be. And when you strive, that is the meaning of life. Because once you get to the finish line, you realize, wait, that doesn't really make me happy. And I hope you guys will finally see that or hope to one day get to that point. But I think that's the main reason why I haven't really been posting. Not so much the views. Well, maybe, yeah. Oh my life, maybe just a little bit. But it's also just like me trying to figure out who I am and not get caught up in the noise of other people's content. Not, oh, that person gets like a million views by doing this? Maybe I should do that. But the reality is me being a content strategist now is like the more you look at what they're doing, the more you're gonna distract yourself from you, going for the short-term gain, not so the long-term investment. But I don't wanna rant about that. I went, from being a cook and someone who used to 
talk to a video, talk to a phone on a bookshelf and had no experience video editing to now doing this to at the point where I can say six figures pretty damn soon, man. But I'm at a point where I'm itching for something next. That's all I'm gonna say. My name's Peter. You're watching Broke the Habit, BTH Peter. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.